Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my beauty box unboxing for the month of March. I am a little late. It is May 29th, and I have had all these boxes for quite a while, but I haven't filmed in a while. I've been kind of focusing on me, and my son has had a lot of soccer games, so we've been doing that. I am the typical soccer mom. I yell and scream like a crazy person, and I root my kid on even though he's definitely not the best kid on the team, but I don't care. He's my best. He's my favorite, and I love him. Anyways, I'm gonna go into these boxes. I have a ton this month. I have the Walmart brand share. I have the masks that I ordered from Ipsy that I'm gonna show you guys. I have my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, BoxyCharm, um, the Allure Beauty Box, <laughs> Sephora Play, and also I did get an influencer box this month, so I do wanna review those products. So I wanted to open them on here and just show you what I got, and then I have to review them online. So I'm gonna jump into it. I do have some gentlemen coming from Home Depot to replace my dryer today. So I need to hurry up. They should be here like any minute. So I might have to stop in the middle of filming. So you might see me in a different outfit slash different makeup. Oh, and on top of it, I just scrubbed my lips with a lip scrub because they were getting so dry and yucky. And I just filmed another video and I was like, ugh, my lips look horrible. So they might still, yeah, they definitely look a little red, especially underneath but I needed it really, really bad. So anyways, I'm gonna show you what I got from Ipsy really quick. So the Ipsy masks that I did order, I told you guys about it last month. It was in my last month's orders. So I did get this at the very beginning of this month. This is from Ray Rayel, not real, but Rayel Period Beauty. And this is the five pack of the hydration masks and they are dewy and hydrating. And then I also got the tea tree masks. This is a five pack sheet as well. And this is to purify and soothe. And they are both bamboo sheet masks. So they do completely disintegrate in like the world. <laughs> like nothing will be left over of this because all of the oils in here are completely natural oils. And because it is a bamboo sheet, it will completely disintegrate in the environment, which makes me feel so happy because this is cardboard as well. So every bit of these can be recycled. Walmart brand share for the summer months. Very plain white box. I don't mind that at all. I did open this just to kind of peek through it. And I got the Salon Perfect Custom Blend Three Browed Shades and one illuminating highlighter. And this is Ready, Set, Go Brow Kit. I am very, very particular with my brows, but if this is something that can work that's very, very affordable, that would be nice. And there's also like a wax pencil in here as well with a sharpener, so that's really nice. Then I got the Purifying Black Charcoal Mask Hydration and Moisture from So AE. I did finish one of these, I think last year. I absolutely love this mask. Beautiful, beautiful mask. Purely Inspired Collagen Peptides Grass-Fed and Pasture-Raised Vitality Breath blend with biotin. I probably won't be trying this. I don't do good with like dairy based products. So it does say dairy free. So maybe I'll try it. Then I got another one of these hello toothpaste, which I'm actually using one right now. And I really, really like it. This one's the anti-plaque and whitening fluoride free toothpaste for, um, whitening obviously and this is in natural peppermint with tea tree and coconut oils um, I do need fluoride in my toothpaste but I can use this in the daytime and use my high fluoride toothpaste at night I did get another one of these Walmart bags I don't use these I do recycle them and send them off to the shelter I got a botanic bouquet dry shampoo scent stick in rose a scalp stick it's a swab type stick you shake it up, take it out, and you swab it on your skin. That is so weird. Have you guys ever heard of this? If you have, let me know. Let me know if it works. And then I got a Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula, Coconut Oil Body Oil, and I do think I used something similar to this before. I really like this brand. Um, it's really, really nice size sample. Um, for body oil, I probably will use this in the shower after I wash. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Alrighty, so that was everything in my Walmart box. Once again, it's only a $5 box. You get to try different brands. 
try different things, see if you like it. And honestly, I just really like supporting the brand share type of things so that, you know, everybody is allowed to get. So I do like this kind of thing and I will continue paying the $5. It's just for shipping costs, not for the actual brands inside. And yeah, I really like it. All right. I guess we're going to just go in the order that I have them stacked here because ugh, I have so much crap to clean up. All right. So this is my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And did I not even open it? Oh, I did. I always like <laughs> pop it open so that I can peek inside. We got two Illamasqua coloring pencils for the lips. And I got the shade in Lust and Media. I have not tried anything from Illamasqua, so I'm actually kind of excited to try this. I'm not gonna whip these open because it'll take me forever, but two of those. I got the Aveen Mask smoothing moisture mask oh it's an actual mask like not like a water spray that's you know doesn't have anything to do with anything that's pretty cool it looks like it's a full size um 1.69 fluid ounces so i'm actually kind of excited to try that i feel like you always get that water spray you guys know what i'm talking about and then i got the il maquillage icon high volume and intense curl mascara made in italy in the shade black so that won't be open for quite a while, to be honest. Then the Yenza Color and Face Tone Up Primer in Essential Glow. It says eight super black essence. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's like a bottle. I thought there was gonna be like stickers like that you put on your face or something. I don't know. I'm not sure what I was expecting, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it does look like a full size once again. Excited about that one. Then I got the So Susan Cosmetics Dream Maker Life Shifting Highlighting Cream. Interesting. I haven't really tried anything from So Susan. Oh, this just looks like a very pearl colored cream. This is in the shade Mirage. So I don't know. I've been really into liquid highlighters lately, especially in the summertime when I know I'm not gonna be wearing a lot of foundation. Once again, you get this pamphlet and the very last thing we got was a palette, an eyeshadow palette from Wander Beauty is the Wondrous Seascape palette. I did swatch all of these colors, I'm not gonna lie. I could not wait. <laughs> and it looks like a mess now, but look how beautiful like that combo is. That blue is probably gonna be an under eye, like under eye line, lower lash line color. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this out and see if this works for my eyes. I'm looking at my box of like beauty products that I have over here that I got from <laughs> boxes and there are so many you guys this is why I need to stop buying beauty boxes anyways that was everything in my ipsy glam bag plus on to boxy charm this next month in June it's gonna be the boxy Lux. oh my god you guys I have heard so many good things about it I am freaking thrilled about some of the items that are in there and I cannot wait but I have heard a lot of good things about this one as well. I did open it and kind of peek through it, but I didn't really go through it, if you know what I mean. So everybody, I think, got this one. Why does mine look all weird? Oh, just because it like literally doesn't fit in the box. This is the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Daily Conditioning Cleanser for your face. And I have yet to try this. I have heard amazing things about it, but... For me and my skin, it really depends. Glam Glow, it either completely breaks me out and doesn't work at all for me, or it's like beautiful, cleanses my skin, opens my pores, and works perfectly. So I'm a little nervous to try this, but I'm gonna try it for sure. Okay, we all got an Alamar Cosmetics. This is the Colorette Brush Blush Trio. I cannot talk. And I finally got a good shade in Fair to Light. I cannot work <laughs> with darker colors and I feel like BoxyCharm likes to send me the darker colors and I just like that color cover effects palette I really was excited about that but I just couldn't I can't use that um, so these three shades are Castaway, pa Pariso, and Scorcher I apparently have not even opened this yet um, <laughs> so this one looks way too orange this one looks like a perfect color and this one looks like a blush topper so we shall try maybe i'll mix these together or something and kind of roll with it the, mu the mirror in there is beautiful okay i did get a bodyography eye pencil in emerald 
I'm not sure if I'm going to try this one. I might end up just giving it away. It is a wooden eye pencil, which are not my favorite types. You know what? I'm just going to swatch it because if I give it away, I'll probably just give it away to a friend. It is not. No, I'm never going to wear that color in my lower lash line. And it's a little, little, it's a little rough for my eyes. My eyes are super sensitive. You guys know that. I'm going to pass. What else did I get? I got the Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. This is a metallic eyeshadow in the shade Cupid. Ooh! Look at that, you guys! I'm putting this on right now. Do you guys see that difference? Look at the difference. This one it's on, this one it's not. Look at that! It's freaking beautiful! Okay, I'm gonna put it on both really quick. Okay, this was more of the eyeshadow look that I was going for today. I know I didn't do like an amazing job, let's be real, but that's freaking beautiful. Okay, winner. This is the winner. <laughs> I've been getting more of into these like liquid eyeshadow type looks, and I guess we will know by the end of the video if it's creasing or not. I don't see it creasing at all right now, but um, I also didn't let it dry all the way because I suck. So, <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this video. All right, dose of colors. I got the, what are you? The liquid matte lipstick in the shade Truffle. Ooh, I have not tried this one. That's like a perfect nude. Who knew? Finally, BoxyCharm, you're giving me shit that I actually like and I will actually wear. Yay, I'm really excited about that one. This one's very similar to um, Driver's Seat. Maybe a little bit less orange tone than driver's seat from Smashbox. And I really, really love that formula. I'm hoping I will like this one as well. I am going to leave this on my hand for the rest of the time and make sure that it dries down matte and completely because I cannot wear liquid lipsticks that don't dry down. This was a really good box. I actually don't think I realized how good of a box this was at first until like this second. Winner. Boxy charm. That was a winner. The Allure Beauty Box. Once again, it comes with this stupid freaking plastic bag. Can you please stop sending this Allure? This is literally wasting the world. Stop spend sending plastic to me. Ugh, so frustrating. Anyways, okay, so <laughs> I did get two of these NS Anti-Frizz Sheets Portable Hair Luster Sheets with Coconut Oil and UV Protection. Um, it says to tear open the packet, remove the sheet, gently swipe hair from roots to ends with a sheet to tame your frizz, shine your waves, and define your curls. So this will probably be really, really good on like a beach day where I'm trying to make my hair look decent without having a bunch of crap in my bag. Um, these will definitely get used at some point. I'm not gonna like make a goal to use it by the end of the year. I am just going to have these just in case in like my car, my purse, whatever. I don't carry a purse. That was a lie. Um, <laughs> but I'll have them around. And I did get the San Tropez Bronzing Water Gel. This is the Self Tan Purity. I'm really not sure. It's like completely clear, so who knows? Let's let's just like put a little on, right? Why not? It's like an oil. Oh, Cali, duh. Hello, Bronzing Water Gel. Now, oh, natural looking glow in three hours. I thought it was like go outside and like put this on your skin and then glow. All right, if I'm gonna have a super glowy hand, super bronzy glowy hand, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna laugh at myself. So it doesn't look like anything is on my hand. I rubbed it, basically, it's rubbed from my knuckles all the way to here um, with one tiny little squeeze, so that was kind of awesome. So, I don't know, I guess we'll see if that gets any darker. And it did come with the um, tan applicator mitt. So it'll probably get all over my fingers too because I'm not going to wash my hands until the end of this video. Winner, winner. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm crazy today. I got the Lou by Jean Sale Erase Cleansing, Exfoliating, and Brightening Powder. Mix a tablespoon of erase with half a teaspoon or uh, half a tablespoon of water to form a paste. Apply to face and let dry for one minute. While still damp, gently massage away. Paste should come off like eraser peels, taking blackheads out and reducing large pores. Add a drop of water to continue erasing if paste dries. Use twice a week or as needed. Interesting, you guys, it's like a, it's like a powder in there. 
This is probably a shower item for me. I don't think I would try this like outside of the shower. Let's see how the applicator is. Oh, there is no applicator. It's like literally like an open powder. Oh, it's like grimy a little bit. That might be good because then it can actually like buff away your pores. Interesting. This is never something I would have purchased. That's why I like Allure because there's so many things that are super, super interesting and things that I never would have purchased and I can definitely reuse this bottle for something for sure. Okay, I am getting too long-winded. The Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. What is this? Is this a lip product? Maybe for normal to dry skin. So this is a skin product in, <laughs> okay, so this container, right? It is filled to there. Come on, Laneige killing me. Anyways, I have not tried this, so I will be excited to try this and report back to you guys. Probably in a sample project pan. Then I got from Laritzi Cosmetics a lip gloss. This does look like a full size in the shade Vibe. Seriously? Nude. I love it. <laughs> I know I probably look disappointed, but I wasn't disappointed. I was excited. Oh, this looks like a super sticky gloss. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a perfect, like, pinky nude nude. Is that a thing? Right here. Pinky nude nude. Yep, that's what I'm going with today. This is definitely going in the collection. If they would have given me this in like a liquid lipstick, I might have passed on it. But since it's a lip gloss, I just can't pass on lip glosses. I love them. All right, this is from Model Co. This is the Eyelights Metallic Eyeshadow in St. Bart's. Is it going to be green? No. <gasps> What? Why are they doing so good? Look at that color. Okay, fine. I'll swatch this one too. Oh my God. It's like a perfect champagne. Oh my God. You could use this for a super crazy glowy highlighter too. Like a liquid glow highlighter and just blend it in with your beauty blender. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God. I feel like the winner this month. What is going on? Why did I take so long to unbox these? Like I, like I said, I just like, oh no. I just like opened things and I didn't actually like open the individual bucket, boxes, package. I'm so excited, I can't even talk. <laughs> Anyways, that was everything from Allure. And once again, Allure always surprises me with things that I never would have picked up on my own. I never, like brands I never would have even tried. And they always come through for me for some reason and I love it, so winner except for the freaking plastic bag lure we don't need that okay two more <laughs> i'm so freaking long-winded today i can't even handle myself okay so i got the sephora play i don't know what box number i got order number ending in 808 does that help i'm not sure i forgot how to look these up because i stopped looking them up because i don't want to see what i get ahead of time okay so i got the victor and roth magic salty flower Ooh. Oh, oh my God, I love that. Oh, it's like, oh my God, it's like, uh, I'm trying to remember where it's taking me. It's taking me to a beachy town, the alligator water. That's where it's taking me. Oh my God, that, ta that smells exactly like the salty alligator waters when we go night fishing. Yep, that's what it is. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Okay, that was a weird description. We used to go night fishing all the time when I was a kid. Um, we would go spear fishing. We would catch flounder and grouper and redfish and all sorts of fish. And yes, there was alligators everywhere. You could see them with the spotlight. They would go all over. It smelled salty. It was in a river on an airboat. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love it. Garbage cans outside. You will probably hear it. Okay. I'm just like all over the place today. This is from Alterna. This is the Caviar Anti-Aging Reconstructing Bond Repair Leave-In Heat Protectant Spray. What? Um, I don't really typically use heat protectant sprays. It smells actually really good. Not like this though. It says strengthens and protects damaged hair up to 40, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, 232 degrees Celsius. So I'm sure like when you're straightening your hair or something like that. So if I'm going to curl my hair or something, or if I know I'm going to curl my hair the next day, maybe I will put this in beforehand. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really use heat protectant sprays very often because I don't really heat treat my hair or heat style my hair. 
Anyways, okay, this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. This is supposed to soothe, brighten, and depuff. And yeah, just a little container. I have a ton of like different styles of these and like the anti wrinkle cream and stuff like that. I have not tried much from them. Um, but what I have tried, I have actually really liked. So, Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara, just mini sample. I've heard a lot of good things. Never tried it. Oh my god, this little baby is so freaking cute. Stop it. Oh yay! This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Stepping Out. What? Stepping Out is my absolute favorite color, favorite formula. It's right here. It's definitely got more of a brown tone to it. The Dose of Colors ones, one definitely more has like a dusty rose color to it. So yeah. But the formula felt very, very similar. It's like sticky, but it's not coming off of my hand which is the kind of liquid lipstick I like because it keeps your lips moisturized and I really appreciate that. And this Smashbox formula is my absolute favorite. I'm actually going to keep this one out on my desk. Oh no, I can't. I gotta put it on the computer first and then I'll put it on my desk. We are still not creasing. I am very surprised. Very last thing I got is the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream and I'm so happy I got this. I did switch this with my girlfriend Reyna at work Oh, this is like safety sealed. I'm not going to take the safety seal off of that, but it is a little teeny baby travel size. I'm so excited. A lot of people say it smells like buttered popcorn. I don't really know what I get off of the smell of it. I mean, I do smell the buttered popcorn now that people say it, but it just smells like coconut like juices. I don't know. Anyways, that was everything from Sephora Play, which I think once again, I got a really excellent box. Like. Even my hair care item and my like small um, fragrance was perfect, so awesome. All right, you guys, last box. I got it from Influencer, and like I said, they just emailed me and they were like, you're getting a box. And I was like, oh, what kind of box? And they were like, a mixed box. And I was like, oh, okay. So I got a lot of different interesting things in here. I got the Eva MYC Clean It Up Shampoo. I love this shampoo and conditioner combo. So, so good. If you guys spend the money on it, you will absolutely love it. Very, very good on my hair. Love this one. There are two of the Kleenex Wet Wipes Gentle Clean packs. There are eight wipes in each. I'm actually gonna put these in my car. Yes. What is this one? Renew Life Women's Care Ultimate Flora Probiotic. Ooh, 60 vegetable capsules. So this is a probiotic supplement. Very cool. Then I got the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Daily Hydration Body Lotion with Coconut Milk and Acacia Senegal. Soften and Restore Skin. Just a little small travel size. I bet this probably doesn't smell like anything, which is good. Oh, there's a safety seal on it. Yay! I love safety seals. Who am I? Just guess. Guess wanna touch with you? I'm rocking. I smile. And anything come by. Okay. Oh, there's an SPF in here. That's cool. Okay, this is the Copper Tone Sunscreen Lotion Pure and Simple 100% Natural bot Botanicals hypoallergenic and gentle. This has got an SPF of 50 in it. This will be going to my son's school with him for the summertime. I will, I will use it quite a few times before that happens. It is water resistant for 80 minutes, SPF like I said of 50, and he has to have a sunscreen at school, otherwise he's not allowed to go outside on summer days, and it's the summertime now. Perfect. Well, I'm kind of glad that I got this because our SPFs are really old and we all know that SPF doesn't work if it's old just saying okay so that was everything that I got in my influencer box which is basically like a sample box that was all of my beauty boxes for the month of May I know I put this video out super super late but I have a life and I've been really enjoying my life and I don't see my hand bronze at all but it does say three hours it can take up to three hours to go. And both of my liquid lipsticks are completely dry. Same with the highlighter and the gloss one I'm gonna touch, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this little fun unboxing. I had fun. I hope you did too. Come back again and see me for my super long videos. <laughs> 
Anyways, I have more videos coming up, you guys. I have a ton of videos to film, not just today, but over the weekend. I have so much to do. I am just crazy busy all the time now, so. Anyways, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.